Well, it was a bright and early 9 a.m. tip off for the women this morning, but that was no problem for U of A super fans. Nine on your sides, Ryan Fish watched today's first round March Madness game with perhaps the team's biggest supporters. The best place to watch an Arizona women's basketball game is McHale Center, but this might be a close second. We just don't have a band. <laughs> no band, but more than enough spirit in this Oro Valley home. They play that potentially should win by 15, 20 points. You make blood pressure goes up. Yeah. <laughs> Stephen and Sharon Corbin have an entire room dedicated to the Wildcats, ready for Friday's first round March Madness matchup against West Virginia. Ah, yes, kids. They just, yeah. The Corbins care not just about this game, but about these players and coaches. The couple moved to Tucson full time in 2018 when the program was struggling. That's when they met head coach Adia Barnes and quickly became friends. Adia can sell you the Brooklyn Bridge and you'll buy it. She is awesome. She is, and what you see is what you get, right? So I said, we should probably get involved in this. Seems like fun for us and we could help the, the program out. We got other people um, hooked on them too. So they cared about the girls. You know, they cared about the team. It was very from the heart. They went from passing out free tickets at other U of A sporting events to traveling with the team on their run to the final four. This house is now a sanctuary for the players, a place for teammates to bond off the court. Yeah, that's Ari. She's staying here now for a few months. Former Wildcat stars Ari McDonald and Sam Thomas have even lived here part time, a true home away from home. The Corbins have high standards, but they're also grateful the Wildcats are a winning program once again. Well, it's awesome. That was the goal, right? We were proud. We're awesome because we did, you know, we can't coach or do anything, but we helped a little bit. In Oro Valley, Ryan Fish, Kega 9 on your side.